Okay, part two of our review sheet. Um, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Part C, state whether or not the relation is a function and justify your answer. Something is a function if it passes the vertical line test. And this passes the vertical line test. So here's what you'd say. You'd say yes, because it passes the vertical line test. And I literally need you to write that down. That's the justification. State the domain range in the inverse. Well, the domain are just all the x values. So the domain for this function would be 1, 5, negative 2, and 3. And you could just write it down like that. I tend to put the funny brackets like this. 1, 5, negative 2, and 3. By funny brackets, I mean solution set brackets. The range. The range are going to be the y values. So you're just going to mark those down. That's going to be 4, 6, 1, and 2. Right, and how do you find the inverse? Well, the inverse, as we talked about, is just what happens when you switch the x and the y values. So the inverse of this particular function would be 4, 1, 6, 5, 1, negative 2, and 2, 3. And that's it. Final answer. Okay. Number 12, we've got to find f of, oh, no, we're going to skip 12. Sorry about that one. 12 actually has no answer, by the way. So if you're working on it on your review sheet, skip this. 